Hey YouTube, Aidu Furkan here and today we are going to try the charging curve again with update 3.2. A reason for this video is really simple. Last time I did the charging test I only drove the car to 3% and then recharged the car to 90% and check out the charging curve and the charging speed. There is some talk that when you're charging for the second time in the day uh, that your charging curve is uh, higher. Reason for this after brainstorming is of course when you're charging for the second day of the day your battery is still warm from the first uh, charge. Uh, last time we started the charging we had an uh, ambient temperature of 20 degrees and the battery was also around 20 degrees and uh, currently it's also 22 degrees and the batteries are also 21, 22 ish. So uh, for this test we are at the 150 kilowatt charger for the first time charging. Uh, because I want to heat up the battery first, then drive again and then recharge and see if we can get a higher charging rate than 140 kilowatt. Uh, currently I have a uh, 2%, 1% there and our battery is currently 22 degree ish. Uh, my goal is to heat up the battery till 35 degrees, 40 degrees Celsius around 15% drive away and uh, recharge again when we hit around 5-6% to see if we can hit a higher charging rate uh, than before. So let's do this. Well, we are started with charging and we went straight to 140 kilowatt of charging. This is now with 22 degrees Celsius of battery. Uh, it takes even higher, 143, 145. It feels a bit higher than last time. Oh, this is interesting. Ah, so the idea of having a colder battery and not reaching your optimum charging curve could be true. Uh, currently 6%, battery is slowly cooking up to 25 and we are already charging with 147. Now, uh, I will wait till we hit 35 degrees and then I will move on. Well, it's 30 degrees Celsius, uh, I'm going, ciao! Hey, we did a new round. Batteries are still 30, above 30 degrees Celsius. State of charge is 3.3. And we are currently at the 175 charger. It's time to charge and see if we can hit the sweet 175 or at least a higher charging curve. Let's see. Here we go, boys, we are charging and we are raising the charging and 150, 160, 167. Nice. This, that means we were cold gating. I see 170, 70 on the charger and 170 here. Yep, this is exactly what I wanted to see. And we are taking 170. Also, the first charge we did today, um, I believe we went straight to uh, the maximum of the charger. So we were charger limited. Uh, the charger could give 150 kilowatt and we were charging with 147. So what could that mean? Well, it's simple. Um, maybe we don't need to heat the battery up. But for now, I just conclude that when you have a warm battery above 30 degrees, it could be 25, that you are taking the maximum of your charging capacity. Amazing. Amazing. And now we wait. Uh, but time we will have till 80% and then compare it with the previous run, run 
runs. So. Yes, yes, we are just below 100 kilowatts charging speed at 42%. And look, the batteries, batteries are searching hot, 50 degrees Celsius. Woo. And looking at the charger, it's currently delivering 101 and we are taking 97. So there's a cooling going on of 4 kilowatts. And now we are dropping hard down. And it goes fast and now we are currently charging for 12 minutes 12 minutes and we charged 40 percent hey look we are charging for 70 minutes and we have charged 50 percent already team so it goes quick it goes quick but still it is not the fast fast Best charging rate of the 135, where we go flat uh, to 5 to 8 percent in 29 minutes, but it's quick. Five to 75 percent in yep 30 minutes and a change Whew. so we charge 70 percent in 30 minutes fast yes boys we just hit 80 percent right there and the battery is still searching hot and we just did in 30 four minutes charging three four percent till eight percent in 34 minutes well the result feels the same like the last time we charged with 3.2 that was around also around 33 minutes 34 minutes from four to eight percent so there's not much change between charging at 140 and 170 four kilowatts so it's a bit less meaningful uh, to have the to have always the higher charging power because the curve just drops down and depending on the cooling requirements of the car it will charge a bit on a lower speed so previous time the battery was cooler for a longer period and there went less power to the battery cooling and more power to the battery charging at least that's what i'm thinking here and now with a, a bit warmer battery yes we have reached a higher speed charging speed but in the end when we hit 80 percent it feels the same uh, i will wait till we hit 90 percent and after that it doesn't really matter anymore for me it's always slow and it's always around 35 kilowatts and if it's a really cold battery you may be happy with 15 but straight from a hot battery you may get 40 and uh, at 100 percent you will still be charging a bit 30. yep it's time to finish this video we are almost at 90 percent and we are done and conclusion you need a high power charger which can deliver more than 150 kilowatt at least in this case 175 you need a warmer battery so first time you are charging you can be cold gating cold gating is that your car can't uh, or at least the batteries are cold too cold to get the highest possible amount of charging power to the to the car when you're charging for the second time of the day the battery stays warm enough uh, to have the higher charging limit at least that's the idea 
time we did that. Uh, 42 minutes from 3 to 90 percent. Well, fast. Fast enough. And um, yeah, I am pleasantly surprised that this car can charge on the 75. But still, I believe we can charge a few kilowatts higher if we were charging at another charger. Uh, this one is charge limited to 175. And if we charge at INT, and maybe Alpitronic chargers from Fastnet or uh, Allego, where there's no char no one charging at the other side, uh, we may get a bit higher charging uh, power. I will try that in an another video, and I'm pure looking at if I, if we can reach a higher charging power than 175. Uh, if yes, great. If no, sadness. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and if you found it interesting and you want to see more EV videos, subscribe here below and then we will see you again in my next video. Later! Uh. Oh.